everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So it's quite a quick um, video. I wanted to show you how to make a 7x7 and an 8x8 box envelope. So I've already done a 5x7 and 6x6 box envelopes. They're very popular. It's a tutorial that people go to, you know, a lot, especially when they've just made their dimensional cards. But these boxes are also very handy for, for gifts as well. Scarves, jewellery, chocolates, things like that you can pop inside here. They're really quick to make. So I've got two sizes here. 7x7 seven seven and 8x8. Eight eight. When I say 7x7, seven seven, it's actually 7.25x7. Seven seven it's just like when I've done the 5x7 and the 6x6s. Six I've increased them by a quarter of an inch because sometimes we like to add tissue around our cards and sometimes we add dimension and that may go over the edges. This gives you that little bit extra space. So just to give you an example, I've popped this card in here and that fits really nicely. Like I said, it's got that little bit of space, a little bit of wiggle room there on the sides. These are easy to obviously close. You could pop some tape on there, pattern papers, wax seals look really nice as well if you want to close them because you can keep it on the outside and then use your wax seal on that section there. You could also add a, a strip of cardstock if you wanted to kind of bring that down a bit longer than you can. This one here, I actually have three cards. These are all going off to my friend's little boy who's just turning three. So he's got the swing boat the swinging chairs and then in the middle is the ferris wheel and they all sit together and i just thought it was really nice to have them as a trio of cards rather than just the one so i'll be wrapping those in some tissue just so they're protected but i will be giving that by hand and you can see they all fit in there really nicely as well so what I'm going to do is give you the measurements for both sizes and then I'll show you how to put together one and then I'll put the other one on high speed because you put them together exactly the same way. So first of all, the eight by eight, you'll want one piece of ten and a quarter by ten and three quarters and then one piece of ten and a quarter by nine and a quarter. This is going to be the front piece. So along the ten and a quarter side, you just want to score at one inch and nine and a quarter, and then pop it along the shorter side and score at one. So you've just got those score lines there. And then this piece here is gonna be the back and this has your little flip lid. So along the 10 and three quarter side, you wanna score at one inch, nine and a quarter, and 10 and a quarter. And then rotate along the 10 and a quarter side, you wanna score at one, and nine and a quarter so that's all the scoring and the measurements for the eight by eight and then for the seven by seven this piece is for the back this is nine and a quarter by nine and three quarters and then this piece is for the front this is nine and a quarter by eight and a quarter so along the nine and a quarter side you're going to score at one and eight and a quarter and then along the short side you're going to score at one so just like the other one, you've got your three score lines there. And this piece is your back piece with the flip lid. And along the nine and a quarter side, you want to score at one and eight and a quarter. And then along the longer side, you're going to score at one, eight and a quarter and nine and a quarter. OK, next you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through all the cutting and put together the smaller, the 7x7, seven seven, and then the 8x8 eight eight will be put together exactly the same way, but I'll speed that one up. So first of all, we'll start with this one with the three score lines. So you want to have it so that you've got your two score lines on the side and one on the bottom. You should have nothing along the top there, okay? Move that one out of the way. So you want to cut up these score lines, like so. And then I like to just cut... A little wedge off of the sides there okay and then with this one you will have that half inch and the one inch that's the top that's the flap piece so the bottom here you want to do the same so you're going to cut up those two score lines and then again just take a little wedge off of the side then flip it all around so you're working on the opposite end 
and this time you want to cut down past the first score line and down to the second and again past the first one down to the second and then you want to take the small little rectangle piece off the top and again and then keep these pieces because they're going to be our side tabs now whenever i do these kind of boxes you want to take a thin amount off not a big wedge just a little bit because you want the lid to be able to kind of wedge itself closed so when you when you slide that little wedge when you slide this piece in you want it to kind of lock against these pieces so if you cut too much away it might just pop out if that happens it's not the end of the world because it's an envelope you can pop a nice you know decorative piece of tape some people have their handmade by me stickers that they pop on things like this so and you might even use a wax seal they look really nice as well so just take a very very small amount off it's just to take away some of that bulk it's mainly the score line you're cutting away and again here like so Okay, so how I've cut those two, you'll do exactly the same with the 8x8. You're not going to need the tabs on both of these for the base pieces. So I'm actually going to take um, this off again completely. So on that one where you've got the three, you can actually remove this completely because we've already got them on this piece. Okay, so you'll actually have that, just the three sides. Again, like I said, do that with the 8x8 one as well. Go back to this piece. Make sure this half inch tab is away from you because that's the top of it. These are the bottom tabs. Pop some glue on these. And then you just wanna bring that under and bring the base around like so. And again, put that one under. And just make sure you've got nice right angles. Next, you're going to stick this right over all the three sides. So you've got a really nice finish on the front. It'll be neat on the back as well. And then that will just fold inside. So I'm now actually going to use the Kalau glue because this will really add strength to the sides of this. So just around those three sides and then just wrap this around. Bring it up like so, just to make sure that it's nice and flush with the bottom. And then if you get a ruler, you can go around all the sides and just make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, so now you'll be able to fold in the sides there. And this is what I was saying about not cutting away too much here because you now want this to kind of lock itself in. Like I said, if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Pop a bit of tape on there, wax seals, but it should. Now, if it doesn't go in, so I've actually not cut enough away on this side. So I'm just going to snip a little bit more off there. And now... That works perfectly and it's got a really nice snug fit so there is one envelope box so i'm just going to do the other one now So that's both of the boxes all done and I've actually popped the cards in so you can see now in this one here I've actually got three because this is it's like one card all together so this is going off to my friend's son so he's got the main one in the middle and then a different ride either side so it's all three together so they fit perfectly into the larger one there and then in this one here this one's not two dimensional but it's the the seven by seven size but you can see that fits in there perfectly so 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. Lots of people have been asking for the larger sizes, so I thought the, the 7x7 and the 8x8, although they are slightly bigger, um, were going to be you know popular ones. We do love our larger cards in the UK. The 8x8 cards are, um, are pretty popular, and you can find those um, a lot in the card shops as well. But like I said, these are really handy for gifts as well. So scarves, jewellery, chocolates, things like that. I think they're, they're, they're just a useful box and they're quick to make as well. So as always, I'll link as much as I can in the description box below. And I'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. Take care.